um, obviously thrilled with the way we played. It was, uh, you know, you're looking for a rebound. Uh, you know, like we say, if you don't, um, the only loss is when you don't learn something from. And and uh, so it's it's nice to bounce back to know it's within us to bounce back and have a good game. Um, hopefully, at some point down the road, we're going to have to have that in our. You know, in our repertoire to be able to, to bounce back after a night and uh, you know much like we did last year losing the first game at Mankato so we were able to bounce back and win two and then take that series and propelled us on so um, proud of every aspect of our game proud of Robbie and Nett proud of our defensive core for allowing one goal and and such a great job on, on the Pelican. Hill proud of Chris and, and Dallas for the job they did on, that they're doing and that everybody's doing on that penalty kill, on the commitment level that they're bringing into it. Proud of the forwards for the way that they handled a lot of the pressure that Northern Michigan was bringing us. You have to contain them. A lot of that comes from the forwards. We didn't give up those odd man rushes for the most part like we did a night ago. And a lot of that was the forwards allowing, you know, being back so that our, our D could, could play a game that is more to their strengths. So, you know, great crowd, great, uh, you know, great enthusiasm. We felt the energy. and. I'm very happy that we were able to come out with a rebound performance. It makes it'll make the week a lot better. You've called upon Robbie a couple times to, uh, you know, come in late in games. How do you think he played for a full 60 minutes tonight? Well, that first save in the first period was absolutely incredible. He, uh, you know, he got across there. He, old style, kind of almost looked like a two pad slide. Maybe, maybe it was. I'll look at it on video. Um, but he made big saves for us when he, when he needed to, and, and uh, you know. We'll, Hopefully that uh, if he gets a chance to get in there next weekend, he can build some more confidence and build some more moment momentum. And um, you know he's allowed really one goal now in two games because he's come in a couple times in relief. Uh, I believe he got a win again in the Ferris game. I'm, I'm sure he got that win and uh, didn't allow anything. The first game he played, he didn't allow anything. So at, in relief, a third period or something like that, or maybe a little more than that. So that equated roughly to a game. Now he's got a whole nother game in. He's, he's allowed one goal. So his numbers are off the charts. And, uh, you know, it, the, the tough thing for him is he, and, and to his credit, um, and, and, he, and he embodies that. He, he sells it to the other guys. Fellas, we all want to play. You know, we all want to play. He lets them know all the time. Keep working. You know, don't lose confidence because of decisions being made by the coaching staff. Um, and uh, and keep working, believe in yourself. And uh, he probably just said that to you guys. I don't I don't know, but that's that's what he brings, and that's what he brought. And to step in there cold when he hasn't played a game all year, you know, how can you how can you ask for more? I'm so proud. I love. I just absolutely love the kid. As does everybody who's around him. He's a special young man. Uh, first couple of Saturdays were really rough for this team. Now we've seen three really solid Saturdays in a row. What is it about this group right now that they've turned a corner with, with Saturday games? I just think they've turned the corner. If you look at it, um, the Northern game last night, to me, in my opinion, was very unindicative in all aspects. We watched some film today, uh, probably too much in, in reality. Uh, but it, but you're, you're asking them, what is that? You know, like, where is that, where is that coming from? You know that's not you guys, and uh, and tonight they they brought it back, so they haven't forgotten. They brought everything back and and did an outstanding job. Um, so I, you know, if you look back, you know, you, from actually from I think the you know we played a really good game first game against Duluth, yeah, not so good the second game, really good game the first game against Wisconsin, not so good the second game. So we were we were doing what the young team does. We we're step forward, step or two back, step forward. But from that point on, from Wisconsin on, we've been pretty consistent. And uh, last night was a setback, and it didn't stick. And that's the big thing is that that, that didn't stick, and it didn't turn into two games. It turned into, you know, so now we'll expect, well, hopefully we learn from it, and we'll expect a better performance on Friday night and Saturday to kind of wrap up the first half of the year. Talk about the power play. You pick up two goals on the power play tonight. Uh, One last night. Yeah, and so obviously it's starting to, to click. Um, it's actually been moving the puck pretty well, pretty consistently as well. Uh, 
Northern Michigan, I believe, was 34, 35, or 32 or 33 or something like that on kills in league play coming into the weekend. So they were like 98% leading the league. And and uh, we went three for seven, I think, with because we didn't – our puck was good in that third period, but we wouldn't shoot the puck. Like everybody's looking for the perfect play. And, and that's what – that group has a tendency to do that and, and uh, um, probably should have gone with the other group to start with to make sure we got some shots on net and, and made them make some saves and backed them up a little bit so that would open up things for the other group. But um, puck movement's good. Zone entry's good. Possession time in the zone is good. Um, I think we had quality on every power play this weekend. Uh, but just as important, our penalty kill, you know, again, that's the aggregate. You, you If you don't score in a power play and you give one up against it's still a minus one when you're really when your penalty kill does a job and you score in the power play you know it, it's it makes a difference in the game the two goals tonight in the power play made the difference in the game um i really enjoy watching that day tolvin um i really enjoy watching that kid play i told him that after the game and i thought he was tremendous all weekend as well it's not very often you're going to get six on him in a weekend uh -huh. Trenton, you know, he misses a couple games with injury, but he steps back in, and boy, he looks like he's clicking right now. I thought I didn't think he had legs last night. I didn't think he had legs in practice this week that much. Um, he has to get back to game shape a little bit. But the, the I think the guy that stood out for me on the weekend as our most valuable player overall that gave us really two really good games is Bogles. I thought Bogles was absolutely phenomenal last night, um, and I thought he was absolutely phenomenal tonight. So um, good for him. You know, it's uh, another guy growing, another guy adding to our depth. Um, so we're, we're, we're a better team for that. Well, especially on the penalty kill, when he's moving his feet and making them make plays in their own end in order just to get out of the zone, it's huge. Yeah, he's getting scoring chances. He got a scoring chance last night, another two-on-one. He was in on a goal a week ago. On a, a, you know, he's, his anticipation is good, his grit's good, his speed's good, his power's good, his intelligence is good, his IQ is good. So um, he's valuable. He's extremely valuable. What I'm happy for him tonight is that we changed things up a little bit because I thought he played so well last night. And because normally we're dressing him as the extra player to some degree and spotting him around on different lines. And he's not getting that regular shift. And he's keeping himself, still keeping himself in the game and keeping himself going. Um, but tonight, the intent was let this, let's, let this kid play. He earned it. You know, last night he earned it. He was the one guy that, that really stuck to our focus plan. And, uh, and he was great again tonight. So that's the guy to me. A lot of guys played well tonight. He played well for two games for us, I thought. Misiak makes a great play to, to block that pass, come out of the zone, turns around, and he and Ray uh, work together to get that, what ends up being the game-winning goal. Yeah. Uh, those two seem to be clicking together, don't they? Yeah, they were, they were good tonight. They're, I mean, you get pretty much, last night was an off night for them. They don't have very many of those. Uh, but tonight they were, you know, they rebounded. That shows their character. Uh, Huntsville next weekend. Uh, back at home again for two games. Uh, talk about where you feel like you're at as a, as a team right now. Well, well, we'll probably sit back and look at that at the break to make plans for going forward. First half of the year, a lot of it is is trying to get guys involved, really trying to focus on your growth. Second half of the year, there's a lot of, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to finalize things and you're really trying to give guys um, minutes to evolve. Um, and solidify what they are. So, you know, we'll take a we'll take you know a few days after next weekend. Right now, our our whole focus, starting right now, is Huntsville next weekend, and and, uh, and when the puck drops Friday night. Fair enough.